Good evening. We'll call this special meeting of council to order for Wednesday, April 16th, 2014. I'll ask council to adopt the agenda for the special council meeting of April 16th, 2014 as circulated. Moved by Councillor Kinney, seconded by Councillor Garon. Well, then keep your hand down, please. Well, okay, who would you like to say? I was going to ask to table the meeting since Council, Councillor Thorkelson is unable to attend the meeting, and I think it's important that all the Council is here, and I know she's not feeling well tonight, and I would appreciate it if the rest of Council would uh, decide to table this for another day. Councillor Cunningham. I'll yes. second that. Okay. Tabling motion has precedence. Mr. Long? Uh, yes, the motion's not tableable, Your Worship, so. You have to have a motion on the table first before you make a motion to table. There was no seconder. Timing's everything in this. Councillor Kinney, would you like to repeat your motion, which was to adopt the agenda as circulated? As circulated. Thank, Thank you. you. Is there a seconder? Thank you very much. It's been moved by Councillor Kinney, seconded by Councillor Garon, that the agenda be adopted as circulated. Discussion? Question. Councillor Garon had her hand up. Does the motion have to be voted on first before I table it? There's a motion on the floor right now. Right. So I can I can table it. Is that correct? I just want to know the procedure. Yeah, the 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 procedure at the moment is the is the agenda, uh, approving the agenda. So that um, I don't think there's much point to tabling the approval of the agenda. You vote on the approval of the agenda, and then when the next item comes up, you can move to table. Question then on the motion. Question on the motion has been called. Those in favor. Thank you. The agenda is adopted. Next on the agenda are bylaws for consideration. And the first is the 2014 five-year financial plan bylaw number 3345, comma 2014. And there's a recommendation that council adopt the 2014 five-year financial plan bylaw of the stated number and date. Uh, Mrs. Bombin, would you like to explain the impact of the five-year financial plan should it be adopted by the council? Certainly, Your Worship. The uh, first three readings of this bylaw were to increase taxes by 1.2 percent. Um, that was going to be up for adoption for this evening, at which point then we would move to the second bylaw, which is the tax rate bylaw. Thank you. I'll ask Council's consideration of the recommendation. Yes? Please go ahead. So can I table it now? I move to table till the till another day that we can decide on to meet. Okay, I'll ask staff for, well, certainly. Councillor Cunningham, you moved to have your hand up. Please speak. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded that... Uh, the matter be tabled. This is the 2014 five-year financial plan. I'll ask Mrs. Bombin with re regard to a motion to table. Can you rearrange enough dates to facilitate? Yes, we can, sir. Thank you. Councillor Ashley. Um, if we move to, uh, to, or we pass this motion, um, we right now are looking at Tuesday to have a meeting. Would it be possible to do a Tuesday, Wednesday thing? Is that possible? Or we could have a Tuesday, Thursday. Um, 
So speaking to the, the tabling motion, um, well, it's not necessarily something I would think of for all the time. Sorry? You can speak to the tabling, can you? The tabling motion is not debatable. Okay. Tabling motion has precedence. Those in favor of the tabling of this item? Three and four in favor? Fine. The motion to table passes. Just Certainly. I, I just wanted to make a comment. I realize I can't do it about the tabling motion, but yeah. um, the reason that I voted in favor, uh, I normally wouldn't because if somebody was away, because I, then we'd never get council business done. However, having seen how people have voted in the past, I, I just think we'd end up at a deadlock again, and I'm not sure that it's there's a point unless we have everybody here. If we have everybody here, then we should be able to pass it and move forward. I, I just think it might end up being a waste of time. So. I see. Thank you. Councillor Cunningham. I respect Councillor Astley's comments and also the fact that uh, it's a hotly debated item. I think the whole council should be here for it. And I think next Tuesday, Wednesday would be perfect. I'm glad that you've uh, counted all the heads and you're assured everybody will be here because I won't be here, but I will be phoning in just so you don't all stay in suspense for another number of days here. But uh, I can appreciate the comments of everybody. We'll move on. Obviously, we're not going to proceed with the 2014 tax rate bylaw, but we'll move on to the other items on the agenda. Yes. Just a question of procedure because it's on here. Do we need to move to table that one as well? Okay, even though one's incumbent on yeah, the no, other. Yeah, no, I understand. Okay. Uh, so I'll we'll, move do, we'll do that then. Okay. Please go ahead. I'll move to table it as well. Thank you. It's been moved by Councillor Ashley and seconded by Councillor Garan that the 2014 Property Tax Bylaw Number 3347, comma 2014, be tabled till a special meeting of council to be held on Tuesday, April the 22nd. Thank you. Discussion? No discussion. Those in favor of the motion at table. Thank you. That's also passed. We'll move on to the next item. Report from the city manager. Mr. Long, have you got anything this evening? Uh, no. The city manager is nothing. Reports, questions, and inquiries from members of council. Councillor Ashley. Uh, this is just something that uh, was brought up to me recently, so I just thought I would take this opportunity just to let staff know, and, and not I'm not sure if there's anything to be done. There was a concern um, regarding the, the development that's... Uh, being proposed at the end of, of Graham uh, in terms of increased traffic as you're coming off of the uh, bridge and then turning on to, to Graham, or I don't know if it's Atlin then Graham, but on that corner. Yes. And there was some concern about extra traffic, and I said, well, I, I didn't necessarily think there's going to be extra traffic, but the concern I thought was important because um, what they were saying is because of the corner being, like, rounded, people are kind of coming around on the bridge there and going very fast, and people are having trouble coming backing out and children playing, that kind of thing. And the question was, and I, that's all I'm leaving with staff, the question was, is can there be anything done in terms of uh, maybe putting up signs about slowing down or even perhaps doing speed bumps or something like that? So I'm just putting that question to staff if you could pass it on to engineering and find out what that might cost or if that's even possible. Certainly. Just on behalf of some people Certainly. that I talked to. Thank you. Anything further? Okay. Yes. While we've got the, the, a little bit of time here, could uh, somebody explain to me the downtown parking bylaw where there's so many spaces allotted per commercial lot? Because we've got buildings here that 
you know, have no parking because of no alley or an alley and the building's, you know, 80 years old and being built right, so there's no parking. And it seems to be an ongoing issue when people are, want to renovate or there's an empty lot and they want to build on it, this this parking bylaw. And right, they get charged the parking fee in lieu of, I believe it's currently at $200 a stall, and prior it was $2,000 a stall. So it's two hundred dollars a stall. Yes. yes, yes. And and your question is? No, I, I just wanted like it seems to be quite contag con contentious, contagious, <laughs> contagious when people start talking about it too. But it's, it seems to be quite contentious because you know a lot of these buildings had no parking ever. Right. And you know I didn't know the bylaw. And I'm just asking about it because uh, people are coming up and, you know, they're looking at it, it's just a money grab, it's just that, it's just that, this, and I just wanted to know about it. Certainly. And uh, the intention has always been that that money would sit in a reserve. And when when parking was created, as it has been in other parts of the city, uh, parking com money comes out of that fund to create that parking. Councillor Garon. We lowered it to $200 a couple years ago from 2000 just to try to stimulate some business however um, that didn't really work and if anybody out there wants to develop right now it's a really good time because it's a really good bargain there's a resolution on the agenda next which is to exclude the public and the recommendation is that the meeting be closed to the public under section 90 of the community charter to consider items relating to one or more of the following and this is under 90.1K, negotiations and related discussions respecting the proposed provision of municipal service that are at their preliminary stages and that in the view of the council could reasonably be expected to harm the interests of the municipality if they were held in public. I'll ask the council's consideration of that recommendation. Moved by Councillor Kinney, seconded by Councillor Ashley. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, questions have been called. Those in favor? Thank you. That motion is adopted and this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>